Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 5 of our Hearts of Middle Earthian save. And today it is possibly the biggest episode we've had so far. We're at home to table topping Hibs. I mean, that's just unbelievable, isn't it? And then we go away to Celtic Park. Now, last episode we won at Ibrox. Can we do the Glasgow double? It's unlikely, but I didn't think we'd win at Ibrox either. So we'll see how we go there. Now, since last episode where we had a bit of a mixed bag, we won at Rangers, lost at home to Aberdeen. Just the one game at, uh, at away, sorry, to Dundee. And it was a good, solid 2-1 uh, win. To be honest, we dominated the game. We should have won by much, much more. Um... Steve Naismith from the penalty spot gave us the lead. They got one back undeserved. It's pretty much their only highlight of the game. And then Uchi, he came up in the 80th minute and got the winner for us. It was really, really good performance. You can see there the match stats. We absolutely smashed them. Uh, and what all that means for the league table coming into today's episode is we are in the top half, which is the that's where we need to be. We want to be higher than that, but that's sort of, we're meeting the minimum requirement right now. Um, but like I say, I mean, how Hibs are topping this table, I will just, it's really annoying as a Hearts manager in my first season to have that. Doesn't help anything. Uh, and then, and then uh, Celtic. So if we can get anything from this episode, we, we'd want at least a draw from Hibs, really, wouldn't we? But um, yeah, if we can get, take a point, two points, or oh, can't really take two, we can take two points. That'd be amazing from this episode, I think. Um... Yeah, it's not going to be the easiest. Now let's have a quick look at the team we are sending out to face the green mob here. And we'll see, even though we're at home, they are favourites. We are slightly in the better form, um, though I wouldn't read too much into that. I think Hibs have played uh, both Glasgow Cubs uh, in the last few games here. Now if we look at what the scouts are saying, uh, they're a passing style team, they're attacking, they're adventurous. Um, so it's, we haven't really come up against a passing team yet. We're expecting them to play 4-4-2. We can see they beat Celtic last time out, so and at Celtic Park as well. Um, you can see they're not. There might be some love down the flanks. They're relatively compact. There's the passing network and key passes. They're not afraid to go long despite being a passing team. So it all makes for sort of a difficult one to read tactically. Um, Anyway, this is the team we're sending out. It's Zamal in goal. It's Mitchell, Shaughnessy, Suta, and Smith as a back four. Herring continues in there as a Yanker man. Dijon and Cochran continue in midfield. Uh, Chu and um, and uh, Claire continue down the wings. Nate Smith continues up top. Now, I did get a comment uh, last episode about uh, about Smith and Hickey. You can see they're both here in the squad, uh, up in the senior squad, so we can mentor them in. They're both 16. I, uh, Hickey's come, they both come along really, really nicely. I just What I worry about here is just his passing. Um, I don't think technically he's quite ready for it to start in the first team yet. Uh, definitely going to be there, I'd say, by the end of the year. And uh, Connor Smith, he's uh, he's not developing as much as Hickey, but he's arguably, I mean, he's, well, not arguably, he is already better. Uh, he could, I think, um, come into the first team even now. Um, I don't want to rush it too much, but I think he's probably sort of next in line to come in. Uh, I think Andy Irvine is still just ahead of him a little bit uh, right now. But, yeah. Things of such good uh, young depth in midfield. My kind of plan, I think, here long term is at the end of the season, Dijon's contract is up. We'll just we'll let him leave um, and just and just yet yeah, let the youngsters come through. Um, that's that is my plan at this point. All right, now Alston McPhee says we should challenge him to go out there and prove a point. Um, what do we say to this? Let's give the fans a performance. Let's go with a bit of passion. Give let's give the fans a performance. Uh, it is a derby after all. So calm. We have faith. Try and keep some level heads in there. And uh, let's go. All right. My first derby, Edinburgh derby, as Hearts manager. Hopefully, we'll get a decent result here. Um, yeah, I mean, the Aberdeen game was kind of a bit of a sort of an outlier, you know, in recent form. Because we really didn't look good in that game. But every other game we've played sort of since then, we've looked okay. Here goes Smith getting forward. He can't quite find a ball into the box. And are we vulnerable now to the counter-attack with Smith forward? They've spread the play. Can we win that? We can with Mitchell. Can we now hit them on the counter-attack? They're all getting... Look at this. We've got so many men forward. Claire in for Naismith. Oh, it's a stunning goal from Stephen Naismith. That's how you start a derby, boys. Eight goals already this year for Naismith. Absolutely insane. Uh, Sean Clare as well. He is proving to be... Look at that. That header from Mitchell was absolutely crucial, wasn't it? We were in trouble if that pass had found the target. Claire and a good ball in and Smith first time no keeper in the world save it. is that Adam Bogdan their goalkeeper uh, of Liverpool fame of course um, yeah it is too isn't it yeah he's not too bad um, all right come on boys let's demand a little bit more of that come on um, Sean is looking nervous not ideal but that's fine uh, early days here of course we can't get too excited it is only one nil and there's still a long long way to go um yeah, I'm hoping against the passing team we can kind of we're counter pressing, 
So I'm hoping we can kind of stop them from playing. There goes the long ball over the top. They've gotten in at the back. Oh, Zlamal stands there and the ball hits the statue that is our goalkeeper. Excellent save, mate. Uh, all right, there we go. Come on now, from the corner. Let's uh, keep our concentration. Remember the training? Away, Herring. That's a, a towering header, really, wasn't it? Just in the wrong direction. Um, but that's all right. As long as it doesn't go in the back of our net, it's a successful uh, successful header, isn't it? Ball comes back in. Another good header there from John Suter. Can we win this ball back? Tuesday's gone for a little bit of a hack. Just the free kick. That's fine. Um, all right. This is this is going okay. Let's show some passion here, boys. Look at this. There's nothing there. Um, another throw. Can we win that? We can. Herring hacks it clear. There's no one up there whatsoever. Is that Mark Milligan? I forgot he played for Hibs. Um, of course, Australian. I think he, he was captain for... I think he was a sort of vice captain, backup captain to Yedinak. Um, never plays well for a club, but always plays well for Australia. So I have a soft spot for him. Oh, it's not the best. Oh, we really need to upgrade on the goalkeeping, don't we? Um, it was a tight angle, and it's kind of gone straight under his arm. If we're honest with ourselves, it wasn't. It wasn't particularly good. Um, cross into the back post. We've got sucked under the ball. It's a missed header there from Smith. I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, come on, boys. We're better than that. Well, actually, I don't think we are, but I'd like to think we can be. 1-1. Uh, I mean, we're at home, so, I, you know, we, we don't we don't want to be not winning the game. But given the sort of form they're in at this uh, point in the season, I do wonder if we could do, a, you know, a little bit worse than, than sort of walking away from here with a draw. We're looking nervous and apprehensive, which isn't great. Um... I mean, we've we've had our share of the game, haven't we? We haven't uh, we haven't been outplayed by any means. Uh, the fact we're looking nervous. What does uh, McPhee say? Challenge them to go out there and prove a point. Um, I'm just going to say, do we just say unlucky? I think we just say unlucky. So players here that aren't playing well, we'll tell them. Um, we've got an apprehensive looking Shaughnessy here. Uh, let's go a little bit of passion. Come on, if you know. You've got what it takes. No, never mind. Maybe you don't. All right. Um, calm. We've got some nervous Dijon. I wonder with a nervous looking Dijon if we we do maybe just look to take him off. Uh, as I said, we do have Irvine on the bench we can bring on. Or Irving, I should say. Sorry. Get back out there and see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit little bit worried about some of this, this body language here. It's not ideal. Here goes Dimitri Mitchell. Dimitri Mitchell. That was that was the spot to aim. Just couldn't quite find the target there, could he? Um, all right. What can can we change anything tactically here? That is the question. Um, Nay Smith, we're not doing too badly, are we? Really? There's a good ball into the box. I'm wondering with these if we got oh Cochran. Oh, the decent effort and Tuesday surely offside. He's, I don't think he was actually. Was he given offside? I don't. I. I don't think. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. I'm not sure. I do wonder if we've, we've got crosses coming into the box. If we look to bring Uche on, uh, pressing forward, just close them down at the back, and maybe one of these crosses finds its way into the back of the net. Um, Harry Cochran's looking really, really tired as well. So what we might do here is Irvin for Cochran, or do we want to? Do we want to go for it? If I go for it and lose, I feel like a moron. What, okay, so this is what I'm thinking. We can bring Uche on for Cochrane, push Herring forward, and then have a number 10. Drop Smith back into it. Uh, Nate Smith, sorry, back into the shadow striker and have Uche up top. Alternatively, we can keep this set up the same. We can bring on Irvine and just switch the jump to the deep line playmaker. Irvine box to box. And, do we just, oh, and then we can bring Uche on. Um, Let's go for it. Let's go for it. We only live once. Um... Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, we'll keep him as with just a ball-wheeling midfielder on defend. We need someone just to sort of sit back there and be responsible. Shadow striker, uh, pressing forward, and then we'll switch those guys around. Um, yeah, just see what we can do here. See what we can do. Come on, boys. Come on, we're going for this. Um, here we go. We've got the throw. Changes have been made. 
Herring's there for Suter. Heavy touch from the big centre-back. He's done well to just about recover that, though. Tuesday, not the best ball. Herring picks it up, though. Back for Suter. We're under a little bit of pressure here. Naismith back in, of course, a deeper role now. Ball comes up. Claire wins the header down for Uche. Oh, almost made me look like a genius. And that takes some doing. Come on, boys. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Can we get to that? We can with Mitchell. Oh, I'm so nervous. Come on, Claire. Go on, Claire. Go on, Claire. Go he lays it off for Naismith. Naismith, what are you going to do with it? Oh, look, play it back in here for Dijon. Oh, <laughs> Dijon, what a strike. What a strike from Dijon. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. All right, all right, all right. Now let's concentrate here. Let's uh, let's tell them to concentrate. Um, do we now, do we be more, we have to be more compact now, don't we, really? Um, what we do, that's a stunning goal, isn't it? We need to, we need to lower this tempo down. We need to be more sensible. Um, slow it down. If they are a passing team, I do wonder if we just compact up the lines, make it a bit difficult for them to get through us. Um, if compacting up the lines, Naismith should sit a little bit deeper. Uh, we'll kind of see how we go here. Um, we should probably look to hit them on the counter-attack as well, shouldn't we? Um, we've played really, really well. We definitely deserve... And this is a table-topping team. Let's not forget that. Um, have they changed anything? They haven't changed anything the way they're playing yet. Dundee is beating Celtic. It's a weird season, this one, isn't it? Come on, boys. Tighten up. Tighten up. Come on. This is it. We've got 30 seconds to go. If we win this header, just keep possession of the ball. We should be good. Oh, we've lost that header. It's still there for Shaughnessy. Out for Mitchell. Mitchell goes long. It's headed down. Uche gets there. Well done, Uche. Ball up for Tuesday. Can we add a nice little cherry on top here? We've got five seconds to go. This is surely it. This is surely it. There. Oh, no, it's not it. It's not quite it. There it is. Hey, we've won the derby, boys. Excellent stuff. Table topping. You're having a laugh. Um, all right, all right, let's, uh, good win, boys, good win. There we go, Hearts triumph in the Edinburgh Derby. Excellent, excellent stuff. Dijon shines in the win. It's the first time we've actually seen something from him going forward. Um, we'll go, his, his passing was a joy to behold. Well done, mate. Guys, wait right there, we're off to Celtic Park next. All right, welcome back. Are you oh, I'm so happy after that Derby result? Now we're here. It's just a few days later, uh, so we've still we've got some fatigued players. You've had to make some changes to the lineup. We'll get to that in just a second. You can see we're not favourites here, which you wouldn't expect. Very few teams are going to Celtic Park, even in Europe, to be honest. Um, so it's going to be tough. But we can see here, despite the terrible start we had, if we were to win here, we would go level on points with Celtic, which is absolutely incredible to think. Uh, now, I just want to update you very quickly on the dynamics. You can see things here are moving along very, very nicely. We're going in the right direction there. Atmosphere and managerial support are building as well, uh, which is good. Now, one thing that has happened, David uh, Vanishek here, He's come to me complaining that he's not playing football. We already have too many strikers. Uh, I've transfer listed him to see if we could get money. Half a million Swansea came in with for a bid. I uh, maybe should have pushed it up to his actual value, but to be honest, I just kind of wanted to get rid of him if he's going to be complaining. Um, so assuming that that contract gets negotiated, fine, and let's face it, he's only on two grand a week. There shouldn't be a problem with the contract. Um, we're going to have another half a million in the bank, which is good. That's all money we can look to reinvest into uh, into the squad at a later date. Uh, we don't get much of the transfer uh, money sort of put back into the budget, um, but I'm sort of, more, sort of more worried about this. This is going in the wrong direction. Um, and quite rapidly as well, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, if we can get that going, but just anything we can do to sort of keep our heads above water here uh, is going to be a good thing to do. Now, let's have a quick look at the way we're expecting Celtic to play here. Uh, they're a standard playing style, attacking mentality. Uh, if we look at the analysis report, they got beaten 3-0 by Dundee last time out. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, you can see most of their attacks come down the wings. They're kind of narrow though, which is surprising. There's the passing network and the a lot of their key passes are longer balls into the penalty area. So with all that in mind, uh, this is the team that we are sending out. And as I said, we have had to make some changes. Um, I thought this would be the case, and I thought we were a better chance of beating Hibs at home than Celtic away. So I, I prioritized uh, the, the Hibs game. So Slamal continues in goal because he's our only real option there. Uh, Garuccio uh, comes in to play left back. He's a decent enough option. Uh, the only Australian that we're looking to keep, to be honest. Uh, Shaughnessy and Sutar continue at the back with Godinho, our Canadian friend, in at, uh, at right fullback. 
Coming back to fitness, looks a decent enough player, to be honest. Um, so I'm interested to see how he goes here. Herring continues in midfield, in uh, the, so the anchorman role. It's all change in central midfield. Ollie Lee comes in to play the deep line playmaker, uh, and Ben Irvine as the box. To, I'm actually wondering if we should switch them. Uh, Ollie Lee is going to be a better option as he's got better finishing as a box to box. So we'll do that. We'll switch them around. Tuesday continues uh, down the right side. Uh, Yonk Yakonvenko uh, comes in to the Yak <laughs> comes in to play on the left hand side. And McLean, the first time we've seen him this year, he's a he's a 36 year old. Um, but as a, as a deep lying forward, I think he should do a job because he's got good uh, good vision, uh, decent ish passing, good finishing. So I think he'll do okay for us. I'm curious to see how he goes. We do have Connor Smith on the bench for this one as well. So if things are either going really well or going really badly, uh, we might look to bring him on uh, and give him a debut. I think it's, well, it would be a debut for me. I don't know if he's, I'm assuming it's a 16-year-old. He probably hasn't played in the first team before. Um, what do you want to say here? Encourage the team. Um, let's go with a passionate with the underdogs here. Let's go cause an upset. Uh, some calm. We have faith. I mean, it's all you can really say going out to Celtic, isn't it? It's just, let's go cause an upset. Uh, it's interesting. I mean, in a way, it's a bit of a hiding thing. I think the fact that Celtic are in such bad form, um, it maybe fills you with a little bit of hope that maybe we can do something here. But, yeah, I mean, I don't want to I, you know, I don't want to expect too much because they did, when we played them the first time around, it was, I think it was 4-1. They beat us quite comfortably in the end. I think we took, did we take the lead in that game, I think, didn't we? And then they seem to be scoring from everywhere. I mean, even Scott Brown got one in from sort of halfway almost uh here goes where in us too much space too much space we've got away with that come on boys use your heads here uh it's not ideal it's only the second minute it's not ideal that it's such a changed lineup either that oh that should have been a header out oh they're, they're toying with us they're toying with us here um come on boys that's an early demand more here i should maybe it should have been a concentrate um that wasn't the best start was it uh, what can we do? Is there anything? Things have settled down a little bit, so we'll go with that. Um, yeah, like I say, the fact that it's a changed team isn't ideal. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, but I think uh, they were, you know, the two games were very close together. We had to prioritize one, um, and I'm really glad that we, yeah, we did win the Hibs game because it kind of means that if we do go and lose this, which I think we could have done anyway, even if we picked the best team or our strongest team... Um, you know, at least we've got the three points from Hibs. Oh. Um, all right. I'm wondering if we need to play a higher line here. It might just mean they go over our heads, but we're kind of just inviting them on right now, aren't we? Here goes Zlamal. He has been... Like, the distribution out to the, to the defenders has been fine when you guys aren't watching. Um, so, I'm... Yeah. Let's try and defend more narrowly. Uh, and actually, let's also, let's try and close the lines up, perhaps. Because they're, just, they're kind of just walking through us, aren't they? Which isn't ideal. Um, yeah, I mean, that shouldn't be happening. That really, it's a good finish. I mean, credit where it's due. It's, it is a good finish, but that shouldn't be happening. Um, let's throw out a get creative. See if we can get anything going here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of your worst nightmare when you come to Celtic Park, isn't it? We're not, we're not in this game whatsoever. Um, yeah, let's try to concentrate. If we can keep it to 1-0, you just never know what could happen in the second half. Um, I've got a bad feeling about this one. We haven't looked good defending from set pieces, and there it is. AI, I think he scored against us in the first game, didn't he? Um, yeah, not not great, not great. Of course, the problem too is it's such a close turnaround. Um, there was no chance to do any sort of training. Uh, I think we had done defensive training, if I remember correctly, before you know coming into this. Of course, we had two tougher games, um, but we have not been anywhere near them in that half. So we're going to say we're not happy. Um, do we look to change anything? I'm wondering. I'm wondering if we if we if we go uh, put a number ten in. The problem is that we don't really have a number ten, do we? Um, we could maybe drop McLean back in. There's no point doing that. We can. Uh, Naismith is sort of the the shadow striker, isn't he? 
Uh, Claire is match fatigued. I had him on the bench in case, you know, we needed a late goal. We had someone we could bring off. Um, but I, ideally, I don't I don't want to risk an injury for him. We might look to give Connor Smith a debut. It's, it's not particularly going well in any case. So it might be a good opportunity. You know, get him out there at Celtic Park, get an experience. We are not... We are not marking up in wide areas, are we? Um... Who's getting that, that herring? That's fine. Sutar. McLean. Where? What, what is our marking doing? Um, it's just... Uh, we're not marking individually? No. Was that a set? Maybe that was a set piece. These guys are marking who they should be marking. It must have been a set piece. That must be why McLean was back there. Um, all right, it's not. It's not happening, is it? So let's Ollie Lee. I think Ollie Lee is. I might just look to see if we can just sell him now as well. Uh, we, we won't waste any time on him. I don't think we'll just. He's not. He's not going to be a player for us for long for, past this season. So we might just look to move him on. Um, can McLean drop in? Can he do it? No, not really. Uh, to be honest, I don't. I don't really think that's going to help us. Um, let's give Morrison a game for Tuesday. Anything else? I don't really want to bring Dick Amono on. He's a bit rubbish. We might look to sell him as well. <laughs> uh, anybody else I want to sell? It's a fire sale at Hearts. Um, anybody over twenty-eight must go. Um, let's just give him some encouragement. I think at this point. It's kind of gone how I feared it would. I hoped it wouldn't. Um, we need to come up with a better plan for Celtic, don't we? Because we've been thoroughly beaten by them twice now. Um, maybe a show some passion. Something, get some sort of reaction from them here. Shaughnessy as a centre-back isn't really working. Um, but... 4-0. Uh, so we need to work on defending set-pieces here, don't we? That much is That much is obvious. Um, five four, five four, missed the head up. I mean, you can't. What can you do about that? Really, he hasn't had a good game. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of. It's a bit of a bumming way to end the episode on, but you know, we got the win at Hibs, so that's something, I guess. Let's give it a tighten up. Let's not let it get any worse than this, please, boys. It shows, obviously, there is some work to do. Can we get a late... Last goal wins. Next goal wins. Next goal wins. Next goal wins. <laughs> Thump it in, Morrison. Um, I mean, it wasn't our first choice team. Can we get to that? No. Uh, it wasn't our first choice team. So that, that's got to be taken into account as well. We, I mean, we looked thoroughly outplayed. So, uh, I mean, we, could, we can't be happy with that. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Assistant Manager, but I'm not happy with 4-0. So there we go, uninspiring in defeat. I think that's fair. Um, yeah, it's disappointing, isn't it? Uh, we do just drop out of that top half now, but you know we're coming. We should we should be better this second time through the fixtures. I think. Um, yeah, I mean it's just it's a little bit unfortunate that we had to go to Celtic there. I think. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's episode. If you did enjoy that, certainly the first half of the episode. Anyway, make sure you hit thumbs up, and if you are new, uh, please do subscribe. And if you want to know when I upload new episodes, make sure you ring the bell. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. We'll wrap up the week. I think we'll do Rangers at home. We've got a, we're doing okay against Rangers. So we'll do Rangers at home, St. Johnston away. Uh, I don't think we've shown St. Johnston yet, did we? That was... No, it wasn't because we did Rangers and Aberdeen. So that'll be a new team to see as well. That'll be all for you tomorrow. With our, uh, I'll try that again. That'll all be for tomorrow though, guys. So until then, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.